A question I'm often asked is, where should I go in Tuscany? I've thought about this, so what I've decided, I'm going to give you what in my opinion are the must-see areas, plus some other options which you can decide which suit you best. San Gimignano is a stunning, tiny, walled, medieval hill town which is famous for its numerous towers one of many UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Tuscany. It is also very popular with filmmakers. Franco Zeffirelli filmed part of Brother, Son, Sister Moon here and the movie Tea with Mussolini starring Judi Dench and Maggie Smith was also part filmed here. Siena. Medieval Siena is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site it is home to the oldest bank in the world and a focus area for the Renaissance art. Its main square, Piazza del Campo, is the location for the famous medieval horse race, Palio, which you may have seen in James Bond, Quantum of Solace. Don't miss the stunning Duomo Cathedral. And if you appreciate art, you'll find the work of Dolce and Pisano here in Siena. If you want to walk off a heavy lunch, you can climb the steps and enjoy the view from Torre del Mangia. Pisa. Visit the former Maritime Republic of Pisa and take the mandatory selfie by the famous Leaning Tower. But don't miss the surrounding Piazza del Duomo, also known as Piazza dei Miracoli, the Square of Miracles. Florence is also a World Heritage Site. It is the birthplace of the Italian Renaissance. Come here for world-class art, literature and culture, as did Dante, Petrarch, Boccaccio and Machiavelli. It was a former capital of the Kingdom of Italy. Take in the art at the Uffizi Gallery. Marvel at the dome of Santa Maria del Fiore from the viewing point on Piazzale Michelangelo. Stroll the Ponte Vecchio. You must come to Florence, as did Botticelli, Michelangelo, Donatello, Galileo, Giotto, Guccio, Gucci, Raphael, Amerigo Vespucci, and Leonardo da Vinci. Montepulciano is where you can relax and enjoy a drink in the medieval and renaissance hilltop town. This is the heart of the winemaking region in Tuscany. Try the famous Tuscany wines such as Vino Nobile di Montepulciano, Brunello di Montalcino, Chianti Classico and Vinzanto di Montepulciano, Pienza and Valdoccia. If you are getting tired of beautiful towns and need a break for the beautiful countryside landscapes of Tuscany, we'll start with Pienza. Hilltop Pienza is a Renaissance World Heritage Site, but around it are the Tuscan landscapes of Val d'Occia, which are popular with filmmakers, including those who made Brother Sun, Sister Moon, The English Patient, a Midsummer Night's Dream and of course Gladiator. Having covered the basics I'm now going to move on to the well it depends places. Lucca is another beautiful Renaissance town. If you visit the Ducal Palace in Lucca this is where Duchess Elisa Baciorchi also known as Elisa Bonaparte lived. You can enjoy the view from the tree-lined Giunigi Tower. And if you enjoy opera, you can visit Casa di Puccini, where Giacomo Puccini was born. Not strictly Tuscany and just to the north of it, but still worth a visit if you like a hiking trip between pretty coastal villages. Try Cinque Terre. Arezzo was known in the past as a fashionable and wealthy town. Come and see the medieval 
Giostra del Saracino, the Saracen Joust, and Arezzo featured in Roberto Benigni's Life is Beautiful. Visit Saturnia Hot Springs, Terme di Saturnia, a spa town in Tuscany which dates back before the Romans. Having traipsed around Tuscany, get off the beaten track in the tiny towns of Castellina in Chianti. Monte Rigioni. Or Grev in Chianti. Well, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video and subscribe so that others can see it. Click here for some more videos you may be interested in.